What's good, YouTube? Because of Kobe here. So, we're diving into a request from way back. This one is More Flying Red Dogs, Hi Homer. We did Black Heart Bart was the other one that we'd done. And I really liked that song a whole lot. Flying Red Dogs has a cool vibe from that song that we heard the first time. So, I'm excited to dive into another one by them for you guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. It means the whole world to me. If you guys are new here, go ahead and subscribe subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. We break down all of these lyrics, which I have to check and see if there are any for this one. I don't know if they're online or not. We'll just catch them by air if they're not on here. So let me look these up real quick and see if we got the lyrics for this up on here. Do we have lyrics for Hi Homer by Flying Red Dogs? If not, like I said, we'll be fine. We'll just go by ear. Yeah, there's no lyrics for it. So we're just going to do this one based on ear for the lyrics, just like Black Heart Bart. Same thing. I love that song, Black Heart Bart. It had a great story to it. Nice, creepy horror kind of storytelling vibe. So I'm interested to see what we get with Hi Homer here. Could be something about maybe the Odyssey, possibly some kind of references to that sort of stuff with a title like Hi Homer, right? Also could make you think of the Simpsons TV show as well, whichever way you take it. So I appreciate you guys tuning in way back. Thank you for your request, my friend. We're going to get into this for you. I'm um, because of coffee. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Thank you guys for building a beautiful community with me here and being here for each other and for me each and every day. It's wonderful that we can do this with each other and have a community where we spread positivity and encourage people to become the best versions of their self every day. So let's dive into this for you. This is Flying Red Dogs, Hi Homer. So I take it that this album probably has just a horror vibe in general to it then, because the first beginning of this, I can already tell, it's got that same kind of vibe to it with the menacing laugh going on in the background. I like the slow style that we're approaching with to begin here. <laughs> Guests invited Ooh. by the absence of a stable mind. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did he just say his guests were invited by the presence of an unstable mind? Is that what he just said there? I'm pretty sure. That is deep as hell if that's what was just said there. That was deep. Hold up. Instead of staying in the set, the Simpsons became special guests invited by the absence of a stable mind. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I caught it that time. He said, he's basically saying instead of staying to himself, he's inviting special guests invited in by the, by the absence of a stable mind. Wow, that is deep right there he's saying you just inviting the toxic people over is what he's saying he's like you in the presence of an abs the absence of a stable mind you're inviting special guests he says wow damn that is deep right there I think that that's something that a lot of people can relate to in life that's probably something that a lot of people have gone through right just being around situations you shouldn't be around while you're in the absence of a stable mind, putting yourself in situations that probably aren't the most beneficial, being around people that probably aren't the most emotionally healthy for you to be around, right? Man, I like that right there. That was a bar. That caught me off guard. <laughs> Sure, I didn't know what to do. Oh. I see 
We gotta take that the whole way back. Wow. I need to catch more of those words right there. He was going in. This is a lyrically solid song right here. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I came to the decision. We're in decision in my mind, so I knew quite sure. It came to a decision in my mind, so I'm not quite sure. Or I didn't know what to do. That I know what to do. Mm. I came to a decision, a decision in my mind, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I know quite what to do. Wow. It's that. Fucking, you doubt yourself, right? You doubt your decision-making skills sometimes in life. That's something everybody will deal with. You always wonder, is this decision that I've come to in my mind, is this, is this the right decision, man? I don't know if this is the right one. You go through that in life because there's a lot of different things to consider and directions that you can go when it comes to the things you decide to do in life. This... I, I, it's just about general life, I do believe. General mental health, essentially. Toxic situations is what I'm taking this as. Being around toxic people, not the best mental environment. You're unstable. Your decision-making is flawed. That's what this is describing right here. The part after this, though, what came after this... I really need to catch all of those because he said something there. There was a lot going on inside of there. Very important. I know it is. <laughs> to the decision, we're in decision in my mind, so I knew quite sure I didn't know what to do. I came to a decision within decision in my mind. Yes, that's what it was. Exactly. He's saying, I came to the decision with indecision in my mind. Like, I, I don't even trust this decision. Yep, that's what we were saying, man. I like the way he worded that. That's awesome. While seeing God may be the answer if I can just decide the question. Which God, I mean to say, they all look so cool. Well, it's a great thing. <sighs> he said... I think he said, seeking God might be the answer. Okay, hold on. I'm quite sure I didn't know what to do. While seeing God may be the answer if I can just decide the question. Seeking God might be the answer if I could just decide the question. Bars. These are bars. These are one-liners from heaven, man. Listen to this, Lord. <laughs> These one-liners are brilliant. I love songs that focus real heavy on one-liner, heavy punch bars like this. That is a fucking bar, dude. Seeking God might be the answer if I could decide the question. <sighs> wow. Following that with, I came to a decision within decision in my mind, right? Yeah, I saying, I can't even figure out what fucking question I want to ask God if I tried to seek him. I don't know what I want to ask you even. I'm so indecisive and toxic inside of this situation of my life right now. Been there, man. Fucking been there. Man, when I was younger... I went through an experience where I had a friend, a very dear friend, that I'm still friends with to this day, that would talk to me about spirituality and God very heavily, and we would get deep into it, but, like, I couldn't receive it properly when I was, like, still drinking and on drugs and shit like that, because I... Just like what he said, I couldn't decide anything for myself. I was just stuck, bro. Just stuck in myself, not even knowing what questions I wanted answers to. That's a true, true statement right there that applies to real life very heavily. And I can relate to that. Like I said, I had a friend that really tried to put that into me. And it, it grew on me after I got sober from alcohol. I actually thanked that friend after I got sober. When I was sober for like maybe a little over six months. I made sure that I said thank you to that friend and told them that they have really changed my ability to look at faith and perspectives 
when it comes to religion and stuff like that, which I don't like organized, but I believe personal faith is the most important thing a person can have for their self as a personal belief in the universe or creator and having a personal bond with that source as well, where you can co-create reality here on this plane to live out that will that will help to change the world for the better. It's a very complex thing to try to explain. Obviously, we would have to do a very long format video to truly get into that topic. But these lyrics are deep as hell. They got me thinking about what my buddy had told me about all of his faith and stuff like that and why he believed and stuff. And like I said, I don't even, I couldn't grasp it when I was still, like, in that toxic place inside of myself. I had to get out of that to truly start to resonate with it and understand what my friend was trying to say to me, right? Shout outs, man. Shout outs to all of those people that were there and gave me that knowledge that they had inside of their own selves that I spread a lot of that to you guys now, like I'm not the only person I know that believes in the things that I believe in. I have quite a few friends that believe the same things and we discuss them from time to time when we have a chance to get a hold of each other and bullshit for a few hours. We get into some deep topics, man. We talk about the same kind of stuff we do on here and I appreciate those people that they are still here after so long seeing the journeys all of us went through in life and where we've all arrived it's a very very wild time in life now and i'm very grateful for all of the knowledge that they gave me this got me wild and out that was a fucking bar that hit me in the soul it's not even the end of the bar yet there's still another half of this bar though holy shit man the things that we get into on here Decide the question Which God I mean to say They all look so cool While it's a great Wait, wait, hold on <laughs> We gotta catch this man I wanna know exactly what he said God I mean to say They all look so cool While it's a great oh, day to pray I'm quite sure I didn't know what to do Decide the question Which God I mean to say They all look so cool Well it's a great day to pray I can't quite catch it I can't quite catch it man Damn it I really want to know What he finished that off with I'm sure one of you probably knows Way you probably know You gotta let me know in chat If you know what that lyric says exactly I need to know Because it was the finish to that fucking long spiel that that one bar just sent us on about seeking God would be the answer if you could just fucking find the question, right? If you could decide the question. That is so deep. I really like that bar. That's one of the best lyrical bars, one-liners that we've had on the channel for sure. That's a fantastic one-liner. Corridors of life. This is deep, man. This is deep right here. Ring, silly little things apparent to myself. Was oh, I lying with my pondering silly little 
little things apparent to myself. I find myself wandering the corridors of life, pondering the silly little things in my sight. Wow. Pondering the silly little things in my sight, he said. Wow. It's almost like talking about the trivial aspects of life, the little shit that people don't always pay attention to or notice, right? He's saying, I, he, he's kind of saying, when I walk down the street, I pay attention to everything that most people don't notice. I look for the little shit in the environment, right? That When you have that perspective and you go out amongst the world, you see some really interesting shit for yourself, man. You'll just be noticing everything if you look at life from that perspective always pondering the little things the silly little things the trivial things as he calls them if you actually go out of your way to pay attention to that kind of shit you will notice so much about the world it really actually opens up an understanding to the world and helps you to apply yourself better in things that you do in life because if you pay attention on a trivial deep level like that it makes you very good at actually figuring out the difficult things because difficult things are usually just made up of a hundred little ones so finding the little ones is usually the good idea first and then it becomes a big picture of a hundred little things combined right and that's what I, that's basically what he's going on about right here he's just wandering through the corridors of life pondering the silly little things he sees in his sights like analyzing those little moments of life those little things you see when you're out and about the human nature you know just the odd shit you see sometimes in life all the little things i like it this is deep man I alone with my esteem, lost within forgotten dreams, destiny, oh. the beach, the sand, the sun, the room, it's a Damn. I really love the lyrics to this song right here. This is a good song. I found myself a wandering the twisted oh, no. corridors of life, pondering silly little things apparent to myself. Was I alone? Destiny, the beach, the sand, the sun, the room, it's a... Man. Man. Wow. Modesty. He said modesty, right? He said he, uh, he ends up in defeat, sadness, and ruin, I believe, is where he ended that off. Began with modesty going home, and then he he meets with defeat, sadness. Wow. This is one of them, huh? This is one of those. He's just indecisive. This is a totally indecisive song where there's so much wisdom inside of it, but it's, it's that dark, undecided kind of wisdom is what it is. It's like, I see all this stuff in the world, and like... I think about God and ponder all of this stuff and like it's super deep and everything but like I'm, I'm modest and I, I just it's at the end of the day defeat and sadness and ruin damn <sighs> that's one of the unfortunate side effects of having a quick thinking mind that analyzes things around you is depression is a very common side effect. I think re realistically it's because it's hard to keep a brain like that properly occupied. So it just starts doing its own thing from time to time. You know what I mean? Like when a, when a person's a genius, I can't like, 
I don't know if you guys have ever heard like Elon Musk talk about what it's like inside of his brain, but he says that he wouldn't wish it upon his worst enemy, basically. He's like, you, you don't want what goes on inside of here. It's like a co constant concentrated flow of ideas, I, I guess, like 20 of them just back to back at the same fucking time, and it never ends. And it's, like, really complex kind of shit, right? Not, like, the trivial kind of stuff. Like, crazy, wild kind of thoughts and ideas, inventions, right? You know how Elon Musk is. Building flamethrowers and shit. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. This, this reminded me of what... I heard Elon talk about when it came to his flying thoughts and how he doesn't wish it upon anyone because it's just madness inside of the brain. I understand that. My brain never stops. I swear. It never stops. Just be laying there trying to go to sleep and it's a thousand thoughts going on. If I focus on one thought, I can only, I can just have one, right? And I'll fall asleep on that thought. But I really have to focus on it because the second that I lay it down, that's like a billion ideas come into my brain and I want to get up and fucking do them without going to sleep. And then I'm like, damn, you got to sleep. <laughs> you got to get some rest. <clears throat> I don't sleep much. I've never been much of a sleeper. I've always been out late wilding out with people in my younger years, staying up all night, partying with friends and shit. That was me. And it kind of just stuck into my natural cycle, even into my year of sobriety with alcohol. I just sleep whenever I feel a bit tired and get up when I want to do something, which is usually not a very long period of time. So sleep long enough to have a dream, maybe, maybe right? There's, that's a hard maybe. Sometimes not. I'm over here talking about sleep cycles and shit and Elon Musk. I don't know what you got me on right now, flying red dogs, but y'all got me talking about Elon Musk and sleep cycles. So that's what we're on today, guys. We're learning about sleep cycles and Elon Musk's rapid fire thought problem, right? <laughs> Found myself a wandering the twisted tower doors of life, pondering silly little things apparent to myself. We yeah. sigh along with my esteem, lost within forgotten dreams, destiny wow. the beach. Lost within forgotten dreams, that was the second part. I knew there was another part in there that I liked a whole lot. Yeah, going to, the, approaching home with modesty <laughs> met with long forgotten broken long forgotten dreams damn i'm gonna get it guys i promise <laughs> it's so deep i like it i really love it a whole lot like the emotional deepness of it is fantastic i really fucking like this a whole lot way Thank you for more Flying Red Dogs. I know there's more songs off of this album. We might as well just do the whole album at this point because I like this a whole lot. I've liked both of them a whole lot. I like how it's emotionally deep. It's got a creepy, horror-y kind of vibe to it. Very, like, rockabilly-esque. I like that vibe. It's one of my favorite vibes when it comes to music. If it can have a little creepiness and horror inside of it, I like that a whole lot. You guys know horror is my favorite movie genre. I fucking love horror movies and horror stories. Stephen King's my favorite author of all time. I love watching me some horror movies, so I like this vibe inside of the music. It's very cool. The sand, the sun, the room, it's a great day to pray, Bob, a great day to pray, fantastic day to pray, and give them all your life, well, it's a great day to pray, Bob, a great day to pray, fantastic day to pray, and give them all your life. Quite aware my dad 
Did he just say, I think he, one second, one sec. like a swingy kind of vibe to it the reverbish kind of guitar going on i like it it's very chill and laid back but also deep and punchy at the same time they ascend up into those rung out power chords very nice vibe right here like i said got a kind of creepiness to it i like that kind of vibe the words i mean lord Y'all got me talking, you thought y'all just had me going off on a tangent, like I'm, I was just going wherever we needed to go next, I guess, right? That's where we went in this one, I just kind of let it flow, but these words, I love the one-liners in this, man, the one-liners in this were fantastic, like seeking God and not being able to decide the question that you need to ask, that's deep as hell right there, right? <laughs> That is fucking deep. I love it. <clears throat> Just about being unsure of your decision-making skills, being unsure of the questions you even want to ask. Also, ta he talked about uh, walking down the corridors of the hallways of life and taking in all of the silly little small sights, right? The trivial things that you notice inside of life that will really build up your thought process and make it easier to connect with people if you focus on those kinds of things you just notice how to move inside of situations in the world whereas like if you're completely oblivious to it you're not gonna really know what directions to walk in life in a lot of situations if you're not observant of that sort of stuff outside of yourself outside of your own self and that's a problem for a lot of people there's some unobservant people in the world let me tell you it's fucking wild man it's people blasting through red lights fucking causing crashes and shit that kind of oblivious the dangerous kind of oblivious right there be people that just can't even fucking tell that a light's red apparently like that's how it is out here man different types of people man some people don't pay attention to anything at all and some people pay so much attention to everything that they don't know what questions to ask anymore and that's what's happened in this song right <laughs> if you did seek a god you wouldn't be able to decide one question because there's so many i love it that's the beauty of life ain't it endless possibility endless questions to be answered everything right is endless you can just fucking go on this grand journey of life and realistically experience whatever it is you decide you want to do with your life right you can really go do any of it if you just take the proper motions to make it happen like a chain reaction essentially the butterfly effect you guys know if you just take the small actions to get to somewhere every single day eventually you get there it's the same as going on a fucking journey like how they used to walk everywhere back in the day right when they went on their long journeys their long retreats to new countries and stuff it would oftentimes take them months or even years depending on where they were going same thing when it comes to achieving a goal Sometimes you gotta walk for a lot of damn years before you arrive at the point that you want to arrive at and the place that you hoped to get to. 
that's I believe that that's the universe testing how badly you actually want that before it hands it to you. Really, realistically, I think that's exactly what it is. It's just the universe testing the water of, all right, well, how bad does this, this one actually want it? Will you give up whenever I throw controversy and whenever I throw conflict and whenever I throw obstacles in your way? Will you turn around or will you keep going forward and looking for more questions even though you don't even have the answers to the ones you've already asked? And then, at some point, you arrive to where you wanted to and it seems like all has been answered right? It's a fucking wild, wild thing that happens in life. If you go out there and chase something that you're passionate about, the universe is going to test you, man. And if you pass all the tests, the answers come afterwards and you'll be fucking surprised, right? <laughs> you'll be fucking surprised that a lot of those questions you were answering yourself with your own actions, right? <laughs> That's the thing about it. You were answering them yourself and didn't even realize it in a lot of instances. That's another thing that you have to consider as well, is that sometimes a lot of the questions you ask in life, you were actually the answer, right? Think about that. Really think about that, guys. And like I said, focus in on that I am mindset where you Put yourself in the present moment. Don't focus hard on your past. Don't worry about where you're going to end up in the future. Be present in your moment and take the steps to ensure that tomorrow will be good in its present moment so that you can arrive there, right? Because if you don't set it up, you're arriving to randomness. But if you set it up, you're arriving to something that you know you've done the work to create and something that you have put into your reality and your life and that's what you will arrive to if you take the steps to make it happen right that's the beautiful thing about life is our ability to create like that inside of our own lives and to be what we want to be in life to have the capability of even going out there and experiencing all of this this reality that we are in to be here even experiencing all of it and having the privilege to experience this and be able to do the things we do here in this life. It is a very special thing. It is a very, very special thing, right? <laughs> you really got to appreciate how precious this reality is because the, there's so much we can do inside of here, man. There's so much we can do inside of here, and it's a blast. It's a blast if you really make the best of it. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my rambles in this one. The original video will be in the description. As always, subscribe to Flying Red Dogs. Support all the artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Get this music out into the world. Discuss the lyrics inside of it. Relate them to our own lives. I talked about a lot in this one. I hope you guys could get something out of all of that. I know some of it was randomness and a lot of it was knowledge. It was kind of a mixture of both. Some storytelling for you guys as well. My own personal experiences. I hope you guys could gain something from everything we talked about in this. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks for building this beautiful community with me. Thank you for supporting each other. And being here for each other, man. It's really incredible, like I say every day, to see you guys being here to support each other and helping each other out with your problems. I'm glad that you guys have come here to do that. It's an honor to be here doing this with you. I really appreciate all of the support. You guys are amazing. Thank you for everything. I'm Vikasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. So I love you so much. Have a beautiful one. Peace.